Hello everybody and welcome to the Nexus. This is the Haunted Minds map and, and on this map I am playing Rexar, Beastmaster and Champion of the Horde. I hope that you enjoy this video as I detail the towns that I shall be using and I hope that you find this as a useful guide as to how to play Rexar. Of course there are various other talent combinations that can be used but this is the one that I prefer and I hope that most will follow suit. So thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoyed the match. For Rexar's abilities, they are very basic. One is Spirit Swoop. It allows Rexar to deal light damage in a line and it slows enemies hit for 30% for 2 seconds. His second ability is Misha Charge. It allows Misha to charge in a line, dealing damage and stunning enemy heroes and minions hit by it. Third one is Mend Pet. It allows Rexar to heal Misha for a piece for a large section of her health over time. As I can see from my enemy, we have Tassazar, the Lost Vikings, and Nova up here on the top lane. So let's go deal with them. As you can see, I use Spirit Swoop to slow them down so they can't get away, and I use Misha Charge to stun them. And just there, as you saw, I can use Men Pet to keep Misha alive. Also, Rexar's talent is all focusing around how to command Misha on the battlefield. The one that is currently shown is in, is Misha staying by Rexar's side to avoid combat. And as you can see, I triggered it. Now she will fight up on my side and prove to be my tank. So for our teammates, we have Reyna Karazim, Tychus, and I believe that is Lili. Yes, that is. And our enemies are Tassadar, the Last Vikings, Artanis, Tychus, and Nova. Okay, the mines are about to open. Also, I need to detail talents that Rexar, that I will be using for Rexar. The first one I picked is Grizzled Bear. Misha periodically resists 50% um, of enemy hero auto attack damage. That will make her make it particularly helpful in ensuring she survives in long fights. Okay, for the next hand I'm picking, I have picked Hungry Bear. It allows Misha's auto attack to heal her for four percent of her. Uh, oh, pardon me, I died. For four percent of her maximum health for every time she attacks. This is very, very useful in keeping her alive in long fights and when fighting mercenaries. Okay, the match is going along well so far. We have 40 skulls and the enemy team has 30. Let's just make sure that we get more so that we don't end up getting thrashed by the enemy golem. A useful thing to note about Rexar is that Misha can tank bosses and with the right talents they are able to survive really well against bosses and can even solo them. Okay, we've got this golem, and just as the enemy team arrived, so we did it just in time. Uh, where's the two skulls? There we are. For this map, I highly suggest that when a golem has been made, that the team captures the closest siege camp to their base. This way, the siege giants can help defend, and as soon as the golem is dead, they can immediately start going on the offensive. Okay, for my next talent is Blood of the Rhino. It increases the duration of Men Pet by 5 seconds, effectively doubling the healing that Misha gets. And also, since, it, since 
the my Rhino um, Med Pet has a 10 second cooldown. This pretty much allows healing to be up all the time. This is the other major talent alongside um, Hungry Bear that allows you to solo bosses more easily in um, uh, different maps such as Sky Temple, uh, Black Hearts Bay, and all that. Well, as you can see, I didn't mean to do that, but by accident, I had used Misha Fixate. It commands Misha to fixate on a particular place or to attack a certain target. Of course, I clicked it by mistake and clicked on the patch of empty ground, so she briefly stopped attacking, so you need to be careful. Didn't need to attack the wall, sorry about that. Also, another note from Rexel and Misha is that Misha can also take fire from enemy ca cannons and turrets. Well, cannons is having anything. Turrets and forts and keeps, which allows Rexel to attack unimpeded. Uh, while the slowed attack speed will cause Misha's Hungry Bear to take less effect, Blood of the Rhino will help keep her alive. And, so, and you'll be able to effectively take down the fort so long that you don't run into any trouble. Uh, that is very likely. But still, it is a very good advantage to have. As you can see, it's attacking Misha. I'm going to keep her alive. Okay. For my ultimate, I have chosen Bestial Wrath, a classic spell of World of Warcraft. It increases Misha's basic attack damage by 150% for 12 seconds. That causes her to become incredibly dangerous and... I have to say, it is one of the best animations I've seen in Heroes of the Storm, in terms of animation, spell animations. As you can see, that looks really nice. I wish World of Warcraft 1 had that animation, but sadly, with so many pets, there will be too much to do, and so not really worth the effort. One can hope, though. Okay, the Vikings are causing us a bit of trouble. Oh, nice one, Tychus. In the event I do not hit level 20 in this match, which is very likely, the other talent for Rexar's ultimate um, for Bestial Wrath is Spirit Bond. It allows Rexar to increase the duration of Bestial Wrath by 50%. And when Rexar uh, Misha attacks um, enemies, um, Rexar is healed for 50% of the damage that Misha deals while under the effects of Bestial Wrath. So this is very good for survivability in addition to a great uh, damage increase. Okay, the Vikings and stuff are putting up a bit of a fight at the bottom. Hopefully we'll get some help. Though I see Karazim has just got us some siege camps. Okay, as you can see, and there, preventing our Tannis from getting away. Okay, let's finish this turret off and the fort. Okay, now let's head into the mines and prepare to attack all those um, undead. And I have not done this before, but I'm just going to go straight for the golem and demonstrate how Rexar can solo um, boss level mercenaries very easily. It might take a bit longer, but otherwise it is very effective. For this talent tree, I pick Bare Necessities. If Misha does not hit an enemy hero with Misha Charge, it allows her to cast it for free a second time. This is good for keeping mercenary camps stunned. As you can see, well, if you're soloing bosses, try and avoid their special attacks such as the Root or the Whirlwind from the ones in um, Tomb of the Spider Queen and in Sky Temple. Also, Beastial Wrath is also a good way to increase your damage and bring them down far more quickly. As you can see, Risha is still alive and healthy while the Golem is gradually being brought down. And also, with this map, Misha Charge is a good way of scooping up um, skulls as she is classified as, heroes in her, as a hero in her own right and can pick them up. And there we go. See, it is very easy to solo a boss as Rexar. Of course, you just need to be more careful to avoid the special abilities that the um, bosses have. So Rexar stays alive to actually kill the creature. Oi, don't gank, gank my... Okay, Misha, come on. Don't want to die. No. Damn it. <sighs> okay. First, first death of the match. 
otherwise not so bad. Okay, our golem looks like he's about to start making paste out of the enemy team's fortress. For now, let's just defend our gate. It's a very weak golem, but still. I don't think I'll use Bishop Wrath on this, it's just so weak that there's really no point in doing it. Also, just a question for any viewers who may be watching this. I've been wondering that since BlizzCon is soon, I was wondering who you believe will be announced as the new heroes that it will be planned for revealing at BlizzCon in a Heroes of the Storm panel. We know that characters such as Zul'jin, Cho'Gal and Kel'Thuzad are confirmed characters but their release date is unknown but I hope that they will come along. However, as this has been more StarCraft focused, I hope that um, perhaps some um, heroes like Stugov, Dehaka, um, Gabriel Tosh, I hope that they are featured. Okay, time to finish off the court. Okay, that match is done. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you get a good idea of how to play Rexar and the suggested talents. If you choose to play as the champion of the Horde, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for watching. Also, um, for the end of this video, the talent I was just about to select before the match ended, that was Aspect of the Hawk. When heroes are hit with Spirit Swoop, Rexar's basic attack speed is increased by 100%, eventually overwhelming them with axes. That way, it allows them to just be completely overwhelmed by damage and they'll be forced to retreat very quickly if you are lucky. Okay, once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to post more videos in future with confidence. Thank you very much and goodbye.